Hello, Karense. Hello, hello. So the idea of this uh, video is to talk about the different uh, sound. So K, K, G, S, G, N, S, K, G, and maybe mm. more at the end. Um, mm. But because those sounds are a bit difficult for French uh, speaker, uh, I need some help to explain. Mm. So uh, thank you for uh, helping us to understand. No problem. <laughs> so it's really difficult even to hear the difference between those mm. sounds uh, for us. And to say it correctly is even more challenging because to mm -hmm. create uh, those sounds, we have to use the form of the mouth and the place of the tongue. So it's mm -hmm. not something that we have uh, in the French language. Mm -hmm. So can you give us some examples and what are the common mistakes? Well, uh, to make you feel better, I can tell you that uh, a lot of Norwegian young teenagers or even young people now, they make the same mistakes um, because it has kind of almost now proven to be a phenomena, you can say, or something that has um, changed in the language of younger people. And also the children nowadays, they uh, can't differentiate between these sounds. So they make everything okay. the sound the SKJ or the SJ sound. That's, that's what happens. Okay. Uh, so it's not for... just for the French people. No, 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 no. So for us older people, if I dare to say older, Uh, it's very. It sounds uh, not so nice and uh, a bit okay. disturbing. You know, probably if someone speaks French and they make certain sounds or say it the wrong way, then it's like, okay, I understand what you mean, but it's a bit. Oh, it's not so nice to listen it's to. A bit, it's a bit wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's wrong, but it's not. It, it's not always so wrong that it's not like I don't understand what you mean. If you say that you're going to Shino. I understand, and and also those um, teenagers, for example, they say that yaiskal go po shino. So I understand what they mean, of course, but I don't want to accept it because it's that's not how you say it. And then yeah. when the Norwegian, if I if I call them teenagers, when the Norwegian teenagers are making these mistakes all the time, then it's like, how can we how can we help them? How can we do something about it? Or or Is it actually the other way around that we have to accept the fact that the language is changing? Okay, so what do you think about that? I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> Simply because I belong to the generation that can differentiate between the sh and the sh sound. Okay. Um, but I don't know in the future, you know, maybe 50 years uh, ahead, maybe it will just all be one sound. Up until then, I, I, I want to keep, you know, going with the, the different ones. Um, because I, I think it sounds a bit um, rough to say that sh, SKJ or SJ sound for everything. Uh, and it, it sounds like you really, really don't speak Norwegian properly. If you are a Norwegian using that okay. sound for everything. Yeah. As for people who are not Norwegian, let's say you French speakers. Um, I, I don't think it's that bad i think it's worse when norwegian people can't differentiate um but yeah it's it's something that is is happening and, and changing maybe just as also the l and the l bal 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 you know this is also a a thing with the youngsters yes. yeah um so um is it a big mistake uh it can be a big mistake it depends on the words that you say <laughs> okay Uh, and we have that classical example. I can, I can, I've even experienced it myself with um, uh, children. I was teaching in a school here in Oslo many years ago. And there was a boy who came late for school. And then I say, why were you late? And then uh, then he said, Sheden, Sheden hoppa av. Sheden as in the chain of the bike, right? Of the bike, yes. Yeah. And then I had to correct him and say, Men Sheden, you have to smile to say this sound. Sheden, Sheden, and then he couldn't differentiate. He said, "Yeah, Sheden." Then I, I <laughs> said, "You know, actually, if you say Shede like this, Shede, if you say that, it actually means the vagina." 
Uh, and I don't think you meant to say that. And then he was so embarrassed. <laughs> and he's like, how can I say it right? How can you teach me how to say it right? Because I only know how to say shh. So please help yeah. me. <laughs> so then we had to do a bit of practicing. And these were Norwegian students, you know, but I had to practice these sounds with them in their own mother tongue. So it was a bit okay. ironic. <laughs> yeah. So how do you, how did you explain to him uh, how to, to say the word correctly? So I guess uh, just for them, just as for you guys, it's you can say the sh sound, can't you? You can say sh or yeah. uh, sh. she, yeah. you know? So you can she. do this just as how you say sh to children, like sh, sh, she, sh. You can say that. That's not the problem, right? The problem yes. is the other one, the KJ one, the KY, yes. the KI, right? You have yeah. to smile. So you you have to, that's the first thing. Uh, when you look in the mirror, your mouth has to be shaped as a smile. Okay? Okay. So if you say she, shinu, like cinema, shinu, and your mouth is like this, you know this is wrong. Sh, that, that can't possibly be the right sound. So you have to make a smile. Shinu. Yeah. yeah. She know. Yeah. So if you sm if you exaggerate a bit in the beginning, it makes it e more easy to to get used to it. And then it's the K Y. You know you have uh, the chicken, right? Shilling. Yes. So then you're not smiling <laughs> like he. You can't say healing. So you have to make the Y, which is also difficult for French speakers, I think, yes. because you have the E E. It's difficult. E and E. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a double <laughs> a challenge there. A double then challenge here. <laughs> yeah. So then it's kind of like a, uh, sh you can still picture a bit of a smile. Shilling. But it's not like kirke, church. But it's shilling, shilling. Yeah. Shilling. It's poulet in French, isn't it? Poulet. Yes. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So it's shilling. So it's, you still see that I'm, it's not really a smile, but my mouth is not like this. Shilling. Sh Shilling is wrong. Shilling. So you should see more of your teeth. If you can think of it that way, with the yes. sound, you should see more of your teeth. So if you're using a mirror to look at your mouth, you would see it straight right away that, oh, my teeth are not showing. Shh, more, um, it's showing very little. It must be wrong. Okay. Because th this word can also have like another meaning if it's... Uh... Especially Not that one, shede, shede. Like, so if yeah. you say shede, that's the vagina. And if you say it right, shede, you're smiling, shede, that means a chain or like a necklace. Shede. Jeg yes. vil kjøpe et shede. But you should not go to the store to say, jeg vil kjøpe et shede. <laughs> because then it's like, yeah. yeah. It's not for sale. <laughs> it's not for oh. sale. <laughs> not, well, not here. Not in the shop, at least. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, so it's. Uh, I think that's that's the example which is the the worst. Okay. Uh, and you might not be speaking about chains or necklaces every day, but you never know. All of a sudden, you're there saying, talking about the chain of your bicycle, or it's not a big mistake if the word can't be uh, misunderstood. Like you say, shino, like cinema, shino. So I understand what you mean, right? So I, it's just annoying. Yes. Yeah. And if you say shut, jeg skal lage shut. It's not wrong. There's no other word that could be this word. But it's just, it just sounds, if I dare to say, ugly. Weird. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> ugly, yeah. Bad language, yeah. Especially yes. when Norwegian, Norwegian people can't do it. I think we're, we're a bit more... Um, accepting when it comes to foreigners because we know that of course there's going to be issues with the pronunciation so we can accept that you make those mistakes more yes but when Norwegian people can't speak their own language then it becomes frustrating yes <laughs> to to the those of us who can say it correctly yes because it's something that is uh, teached in in the schools anyway to to Norwegian people so they I mean I, I remember that we used to do these exercises with sh, uh, she, she ling, she, he no. Yeah, I remember that because we we didn't learn how to say it. We learned how to write it. 
right? So, so there would be a difference between SKJ and uh, KJ, you know, it's and a KJ, different way. Yes. Yeah. But it was more about how to write it correctly, not about how to say it, because we all said it correctly. Nobody said okay. she, no shilling, uh, like that when I grew up. But then, okay, because it's um, it's um, a, a trend that we say that we. we well, say you know, we language is always it, changing. Or? Language is always changing. So, so I don't think the language we have today will be the same language in fifty years. Um. Actually, I have um, my, my dad's cousin. He moved to Chicago when he was around 20. He became a doctor there and he's lived there for all the rest of his life and he's still there. Okay. Uh, he's now 85 or something like this. And when he comes to Norway, of course, he is a Norwegian. He's a native speaker, but the, his Norwegian language is how it was 65 years ago here. So okay. when he comes back to Norway, he speaks very formal. He's okay. like, yeah. Skal vi gå og spise middag på restauranten i dag? You know, that's how they spoke at <laughs> that time. The, at that time, sounds, okay. It sounds so strange, but he's... Like you know, really serious but, and uh, really formal. That Yeah, that's his language because it has been kept that way because he it, it stayed in the U US. So yeah. he his language has not developed, but the Norwegian language has developed, you know. Yes. So I can clearly see it speak to him. Okay. Um, it's funny. What else so I, I, uh, have, have changed in the Norwegian language, would you say, lately? Uh, I think, of course, we have a mix of, like, we have many words from different uh, languages because we are being more multicultural, we're blending more with other cultures and other um, uh, yeah, um, different types of people coming here. There is more English, I think. We use that more and more. Um and then, of course, it's, it's the tone, it's the way to speak. It's uh, maybe also that we're less formal. Uh, the differences between old and young is not very clear in terms of how we speak to one another. Um, okay. Yeah. I remember when I was little, we had this um, the, them, you know, so I should, I would, uh, to an older lady, I would say, skal jeg hjelpe dem? I, I should not say dig. Right, that would be uh, impolite. Can I help you? Will they have coffee? Will they have a little coffee? So I should not say, "Will you have coffee?" But that that would be rude. Okay. And even you you wrote it with a capital D. Will they have coffee? D E. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, but we don't do that anymore at all. Okay. So I, I guess also just as French is changing, Norwegian is changing. Every language is changing by you know. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it's normal. So um, we have this, what we call kebab norsk. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which has been, you know, it, it has just, uh, yeah, it was just uh, something that happened. I think, I guess, when the kebab came to Norway, I don't know when that was, if that was the 90s and it has just developed. But it, it's funny because then you have a lot of words from other other languages um yes i have um i have a friend and she's from trendelag uh and her um husband is kenyan and they have two kids and the daughter she's she's used to the trender dialect with her mom uh but her mom is norwegian right and this girl she's growing up in the east side of oslo so she's okay. telling um she's telling her mom very often oh mama du er så gora and apparently Gora, it means a farmer in Hindi, I think, in India. Okay. Or somebody from the countryside or something like this. Okay. So she's telling her mom all the time, Oh, mama, do you have Gora activities? Do you go to soppa? Do you have Gora? <laughs> <laughs> so her mom has to learn these terms, right? Because the, she doesn't like understand what her daughter is saying. Yes. Yeah. So it's like that. <laughs> Sociolect. Okay. Uh, that's what they call it. Sociolect. Yes. Mm. And, and for for us as a Norwegian learner, uh, we have to learn all those new words and not not all of them, but the the slang as as we say, yeah. be because it, the, it's really used. And uh, there is a big difference between what we can learn in books or in schools and what yeah. is Norwegian in the everyday life. Yeah. I think sometimes it's. Um, I'm a fan of. Uh, 
learning in a bit untraditional way. Like, because I know a lot of learners, they want to stick to the book. They want to stick to the grammar tables. They want to, you know, do everything correctly. And then when you come out there and you speak to people, then you become very confused because, hey, but in the book I learned you have to answer this if you get this question and you have to do it like this. But, yes, you know, when people start speaking, it's, it doesn't yeah. work. Yes. So I think sometimes the challenge is to uh, actually uh, try to detach yourself from the book a bit and just speak. Uh, know yes. that you're going to make mistakes and accept it. I think Absolutely. that's the hardest part. That is the yes. hardest part as adults, adult learners. Yes. Yeah, because we don't want to feel stupid or as babies or children. We are adults after all. We are educated. You know, we have, you know, years of experience. <laughs> yes. But ultimately, when you learn a language, you become like a different level in terms of what you what comes out of your mouth and who you really Absolutely. are as a last word what would you say uh, to norwegian learners uh, so they can uh, stay motivated i would say um don't be afraid of making mistakes uh we are very happy when you try to speak as opposed to being silent Uh, and just just try to to let yourself go a bit accept the fact that you will make mistakes but in that you will learn if you don't make mistakes you won't learn it's like that so you just have to put yourself out there it's not dangerous nobody's gonna bite you <laughs> no so yeah so i would say just just try to just try to speak try, try just to speak. do it yeah just speak that's it just speak yes yeah it's okay so easy mm -hmm. Yeah, so easy, but so difficult so, at the same time. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Bare snakk, snakk norsk. Perle norvegien. Oui, c'est ça? Yes. C'est ça, parfait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Karen, sir, for your time. It was a pleasure to uh, speak yeah. with you, to see you. And maybe yeah. we will do another video like that. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Yes. Come with some, uh, some new uh, needs. Then we'll, we, I'm sure we can find something. Yes, I'm sure too. Mm -hmm. Thank you for okay. your time. Bye bye. You're welcome. Au revoir. <laughs> Au revoir.